password. Um, username or password is incorrect. This is Paul Vreeland, creator of the All-in-One System Rescue Toolkit, and if you or somebody you know has locked yourselves out of your Windows computer, I will show you in this video how you can reset your Windows password using my toolkit. So first we're going to pop the toolkit in and reboot the machine. You will need to boot up into the live CD environment to be able to reset your Windows password, so make sure you have the CD or USB set as your primary boot device, and go ahead and boot the utility. And we have a handy NT password reset file here on the desktop. Let's open that up. How to reset passwords. Mount the Windows system partition using disk utility. So let's do that first. We'll open up disks. We go to our hard drive here. And this is our primary Windows system partition. So we're going to hit the little play button here and mount it. And it says it's mounted at this location, so we'll click on that and it'll open it up. And this does indeed look like a Windows partition. Uh, here we have the users folder, very common, system volume information, recycle bin, Windows. Okay, so it's mounted and we have the location. So open terminal to the mounted location. I like to copy paste. So let's shrink that down, and we'll open up our terminal. And it says open terminal to the mounted location, CD, blah, 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 Windows System 32 config. So let's first go to our system partition. We'll do CD, and then we'll paste that. And in Ubuntu, it's not DIR, it's LS. Hey, look at that, we have Windows, there's the right one. So now we need to go into Windows System 32 and Config. Now we are in the proper location here, Media, whatever, whatever, Windows System 32 Config. And now we need to run this application, make sure we type it exactly as it's shown with the spaces included. And here we have chntpw, I'm assuming that stands for change NT passwords uh, application. So we're going to want to edit user data and passwords, and that's the default, number one, so I can just hit enter. And which user do we want to edit? So we're not doing administrator, our username was vbox in this case. So we're going to type 03e8. It looks like it's also the default here, this is the default. And we're going to do two steps. We're going to clear the password. So number one. And now it's cleared. And then we're also going to unlock and enable the user account just in case. It's number two. And then we go to quit. And I like to go back just to make sure. We go to one. And look at that. It says VBox now has a blank password and it doesn't say that it's locked. So let's quit. Quit. Write Hive Files, we're going to say yes. And we're all done. So now we can just type exit here and reboot the system. Lubuntu is going to want to eject the media, so hit enter there. I do want to note that this method for resetting Windows passwords will not work with the online Microsoft account in Windows 8 or Windows 10. It only works for local accounts. It also will not work for domain passwords. Again, only local system accounts. So if we go to our control panel, go into user accounts, And now it says administrator account, no password protection indication, and it says create a password for your account, showing that we have indeed cleared and unlocked this account, and we can boot into the computer without a password. 
And this concludes my tutorial video for how to reset Windows passwords using my all-in-one system rescue toolkit. If you found this video or my toolkit helpful, feel free to like or subscribe below. And thank you for continuing to support and spread the news about my project.